sharks, rays, tropical water, and good food. Welcome to Belize. 48 hours in Belize. I can't believe we drove down here. <laughs> this marks the end of our travel goal, Canada to Central America. And it also marks one year living on the road in our van. I cannot believe how fast time has gone. I can't believe we started last April. Unreal. We'll be celebrating in style this 48 hours, not in our van, <laughs> but in the Belizean Keys in a hotel room. The first hotel room we've had the entire year. An entire year, unreal. So let's get to it. We're going on excursions. We're gonna have some Belizean cuisine. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Let's do it. Hey guys, subscribe to um, Paris and Lisa. Day one, we will be taking an eight hour boat tour with Inland and Sea Adventures. This is Eric from Inland and Sea Adventure. So we basically do Ho Chan first. Ho Chan, which is listed as one of the top three snorkel places in the world, we're doing that first. Holchan is a marine reserve off the coast of San Pedro. Holchan means little channel in Mayan. It's a natural break in the reef that attracts all kinds of sea life and covers 4,500 acres. Then we go over to Shark Alley. All right, so they won't eat us for chunk? No. So, <laughs> that's not looking enough. Shark Ray Alley, there's a bunch of sharks, I'm about to go in. This is what we say, guys, you gotta see it to believe it. <laughs> Okay. Check your fingers and your toes. Come around, buddy, come around. Shark Ray Alley is a part of Holchan. Here you will find hundreds of nurse sharks and fish. You can feed the sharks chum so they will flock to the boat. These are nurse sharks so they won't bite, but you do want to keep your hands away from their mouths because they suck and their mouths are similar to sandpaper. Look, what do you, see? you see those fangs? You can touch them but not by their mouth. <laughs> Here you can dive with sharks, but not gonna lie, sharks are my biggest fear. So Ferris took this one on for the both of us. After Shark and Reality, we do the uh, Coral Garden. The wind is pretty crazy today, but the water is still amazingly blue. And the amount of fish, sharks, turtles, rays that we saw today has been incredible. What do you think, Bodie? Bodie, what do you think about all the stuff we've seen today? Good. So good. <laughs> Our captains have been great. Lisa's out there now. I'm gonna try to get the drone up but uh, having some technical difficulties after I crashed it the other day, so we'll see. All right, so this is the best day in the world. I mean, do you see that water? The rum punch tops it off, but do be careful, it's pretty strong. It's still crazy to think we drove our van all the way to Central America. I can't think of any better way to celebrate our goal. And then we visit Key Cocker, neighboring island, there in Key Cocker is where we have lunch. We also have uh, two additional stops on the leeward side there. We feed the tarpon and then check out the seahorse. You're going to have some. Look, I got so pictures. good. After a full day in the sun, this is the perfect light meal so we can go swimming again. So this is our first Belizean meal that we've had. It looks like we got some type of like chicken. Um, we got some plantain, some coleslaw, rice and beans. We are starving, we've had a long day, it's been a fun day, and I can't ask for anything more. I need to get into this, so I'm gonna put you on a time lapse. Key Cocker seems a little bit more laid back than San Pedro, but a cool vibe with water on the one side and water on the other side, just a few blocks in between. Super, super laid back, lots of restaurants, markets, things to do, a ton of different tour options as well. So if you're coming here, you could stay at St. Pedro, but you also could stay in, in Key Cocker for a more laid back vibe. <laughs> Scene is Belizean, you know? I feel you, Mom. Scene is Belizean. But if you're looking for more action, Key Cocker has a party side with a bar, tons of swimming, and a platform to jump off into the water. How was it? <laughs> You'll find tons of people on vacation enjoying the view, laying out, and sipping on some drinks. Here guides picked us back up and took us on a short drive to the other side of the island where we met up with some other sea life creatures. Lisa, what are we about to do? What's this? This brings me back to Florida Keys Alrighty, with guys, feet so in the tarpons. This this, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we always get into these situations, but let's get this little guy a home. I feel like I'm a pro at feeding the tarpons at this point. We got two down in the first five minutes. <laughs> Lisa, 
He's coming for you. No, it's, it's harmless. It's harmless. It is literally coming. It's coming for you. There's a stingray coming. Yeah, a big one. No. No, you're good. You're good. No. He's right there. See over that side, they pet them. Oh. After the island, it was time to head back to San Pedro. But on our way, we ran into some dolphins. Our guides called us lucky because it's not every day you see them here. It's actually pretty rare. They were even putting on a show for us. We couldn't think of a better ending to the day. This is my man. Took care of us today. You got us here back safe, and we had a great day. Awesome. Thank you so much. See you. Pleasure, right? I don't know how you're going to top that, but if you want to come, go with these guys. It was an incredible day. Now we got to figure out what we're going to do tomorrow. It's 48 hours, baby, 48 hours. Day two, we explore San Pedro the local way and try some authentic Belizean food and check out a secret beach. Later on, the boys jump deep out into the ocean in the middle of the night to see what lies below. So when you're in Belize, especially in the Keys, you have to get a golf cart. It's the easiest mode of transportation. This will take us to our whole food tour that we're doing today and the secret beach. We're gonna get out there. First stop is Neri's. This place is a little bit of a cheaper stop, but we're gonna get a fry jack, which is a interesting dough style thing that's stuffed and it's definitely Belizean. So it's gonna come with chicken. So we're gonna get a chicken fry jack. Let's see how it is. It looks pretty big, but it's $5 Belizean. So that's $2.50 USD. So it's this crisp dough. You can see them pounding it back there and then they deep fry it and they fill it with rice and beans, and some chicken, and a little bit of salt, it looks like. That looks good, amazing. Good beginning snack oh for this for sure. That's a snack. Mm. That's good. Oh, it's so hot and it's just fresh. I'm at the end of mine, but it really reminds me of like an elephant ear without like all the sugar. So it's an elephant ear folded over with all those things in between. I mean, come on. Wow. Lisa, let me have that last piece. One bite, not the whole thing. People, that is love. <laughs> Giving your significant other even the last one or two bites. Yeah. Love. No, get off me. <laughs> so much better than the band. Just made it to Alpha Gone. This is a traditional Belizean restaurant, and they got the fire hearth stews, which is right behind us on the fire just like grandma used to make. So we're gonna go with one of those and we're gonna get some salbutes as well, which is another traditional dish, which is like a tostada and maybe a couple starters, maybe a couple of not sure, but those look amazing. So we're gonna go with that and see how they are. So we just got our meals. He talked us into getting some of these fish panadas, which is essentially just an empanada. Big bite of pastas. Mm. <laughs> mm. Very similar to what we had yesterday on the excursion, but it definitely is different. Like yesterday was more of like a Caribbean jerk. This is like a red sauce, still a little spicy, but more, yeah, more of like a stew, but still very good, very tender. Now that our bellies are full, it's time to test how far this golf cart can go. After talking to locals, the consensus is to check out Secret Beach. To cap off our day, we made it to Secret Beach, which is about a 20 minute drive from downtown San Pedro. And honestly, it's not a secret beach. The secret's out, everyone knows about it. There's a ton of bars and restaurants here. There's even a water park in the water. You can sit in the water, grab a drink, grab some food. Just a really cool place to hang out and catch the sunset. You dance into those throwbacks. Oh my god. Cringe, right? I showed Paul? Sully Cringe. a couple moves. Cringe. Too. Cringe. I told her to raise the roof. Raise the roof. There's a ton of bars and restaurants here, so all you have to do is grab a drink and then you can use their lounge chairs for free. The sun has set behind us. Now it's time to get back into the golf cart. Rough ride ahead of us. Who is that behind me? After a long day, it's time to head back, but our day is not over. We just received a very exciting phone call that will change our evening plans. 
bonus activity. The tour company that we went with before for the full day just offered us a night snorkel. I am pumped for this one. This has got me really excited. And I heard there's gonna be some crazy things. Hopefully we see a squid. Oh my gosh, the car's in my way. <laughs> I am scared for you. Oh my there's god, be this is gonna sharks. be intense. I am freaking out. <laughs> Night snorkel. Ready? <laughs> Ready to get sexy, right? Yeah! <laughs> Inland Sea Adventures is the company that we went with on our first day and they're absolutely incredible. Honestly, the best excursion I've ever been on. So I'm really excited for the boys to do this night diving, but me on the other hand, this would be my biggest fear. I am deathly afraid of sharks, especially at nighttime, but they're allowing me to go on the boat to film the whole process. So thank you guys. Okay, I am literally having a heart attack for these boys. The water is pitch black and the only way to see is by this little flashlight they give you. Who knows what's down there at this time. We're just floating out here right now. Middle of the night. <laughs> Holy crap. The only way I can tell where the boys are at are by the little flashing lights in the water under the full moon. Our guides mention hammerhead sharks, eels, squid, and barracudas. Yeah, I'm good. Oh. All right, epic experience. Yeah. In the water at night time, man. The water at night is like nothing else. So you went treasure hunting, huh? Yeah, bro. You found something? Yeah, we'll see if it's any good. You found the GoPro. <laughs> that was crazy. A little eerie. Whew, we're back. And I found some treasure. I found a GoPro down there. <laughs> Mikey took us out again. He was our captain. Successful trip. That's how we do it, guys. You gotta see it to believe it, right? Yeah, see it to believe it. <laughs> you gotta see it. It was the night snorkel. Pretty cool. Yeah. In our next video, we finally turn around and begin our thousand mile drive from Belize to Mexico City. This is gonna be a long one filled with breakdowns, interesting campsites, and lots of snacks.